I always say like Lisa literally called her best friend a whore and accused her of fucking half of New York. Yes. And said horrible shit about her family. You can forgive that, but you can't forgive me for reposting the shit Jen Shaw said about you. I think it is right. Like yeah. Ariana and Tom are, I mean, they may not be speaking, but they are mm-hmm. on the same screen. They are exactly. sharing scenes. And that's a situation where she has a ton of validity to feel how she felt. I mean, whatever. They're, they've been filming together for so long. That's a real like intertwined group. And yeah. this shook their world. So I get that. But if they can come together and film... You know, if Teresa can fucking flip a table and they can still film, if and she's uh, filming with Melissa and they're right. not speaking, do you know what I mean? Out. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I don't know why they. So yeah, you think I'm because shocked. of Teresa and Melissa and Ariana and Tom, this was the same situation? <laughs> it is kind of right. I feel like there have been worse housewives fights than this, and they still film together. That is what I'm saying. Yes. Do you think that? The fact that you stated on the reunion, I'm not coming for you. I'm just asking, like, do you think it really is the women or do you think the fact that you stated on the reunion, Mm -hmm. you know, I told producers this, you know, again, you were served with this very public cease and desist by Jen Shaw. I was. Tanisha told Heather. So people Mm -hmm. knew, you know, you said, like, I told the producers they knew. Mm -hmm. And Andy's like, you didn't tell producers because we never would have cast you if you had a burner account. Like, do you think that was part of the reason or the reason like, do you think that was it? Because I... I really don't think so. And you don't? I, honestly, the only reason why I say that is because, fine, then why the fuck does Heather still get to be here? Because if you're saying, I don't get to come back because I had a burner page, then shouldn't she not be allowed to come back because she tried to accuse producers of assaulting her? Because she lied to all the people? I mean, literally lied to everyone for like a year, year and a half on her book tours to her castmates face to the network. I mean, what? So to- that's why I'm like, it doesn't make sense. Like, OK, you want my ass off and I shouldn't be here because I had a burner account, you know, whatever. That's great. But then Heather shouldn't still be here either. Do you know what I mean? Because she lied about the black eye and... Not even because she lied about the black eye. Like, if she was scared and needed to lie about the black eye because she was protecting Jen and blah, 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 whatever. But it's the fact that she took it so far to make up these stories about it being production that maybe was involved in getting the black eye. That there were lawyers and investigators and police. Like, it's not even like you're just like, oh, no, Whitney, it wasn't Jen. That's not what happened. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's the magnitude, right? So if you're saying mine is such a big magnitude and I can't be there for that, okay. But then neither should Heather. If we're if we're really scaling this. Right. Because people could have lost their damn jobs over the stuff she was saying. And I don't think anyone could have lost their job because I had a burner page. Right. And I'm not saying, I mean, I was just thinking, well, like it turns the hiring process on its head, maybe because, you know, then you have the showrunners and like Lisa Mm -hmm. Shannon are coming out like we do thorough background investigations. Like, Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just where my mind and I'm not saying that's why, because what do I know? Like, I don't know. And I love Lisa Shannon. She's incredible. I want to make this very clear because I think this got a little muddy with how things were cut. I never told casting. Okay, so when Andy says in casting and I say yes, that's because my interview with production when they came to my home where that account was discussed happened during casting. But I never told the people casting me. Does that make sense? Right. So it was during the casting process. Right. But the people that cast me did not know and still cast me. Does that make sense? Yes. So I feel like that. producers knew. Okay, so here's... And I'm, I'm just... I'm just no, I, no, no, I'm no, no, no. I get it. And I know, like, a lot of people in the industry are, like, they see this very differently. Um, but the production people that I discussed this page with were no longer the production people that were on when we were filming. It was completely different. There was a year between that time. Right. So it was completely different people. 
So like the people at Shed when they said roll, mm-hmm. let's come to your house, like it was all different people. It was different people. Those people that came to my house and were in my home were not there. Got it. When I filmed. Got it. Mm-hmm. And I don't even know if that's a reason. You know, I just wonder, like, so when yeah. you were filming, because like Heather knew, do you think mm-hmm. producers knew? Like, do you think producers kind of wanted this to come out? Like, did they know? Maybe not even from you. Like, did Heather tell them? Or do you think this was like Heather knew and it was coming out and nobody else knew? I'm just, I'm really curious. Like, I have no ulterior know, yeah. question, light of questioning in this. I'm just so yeah. curious. No, I, I find it so interesting, it's Monica. It's very interesting. Yeah. I find it possibly the most interesting thing yeah, to happen in Housewives in like the past 18 years. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I don't know because you know that producers know stuff. That no one else does, where they have their own relationships with each housewife. Yeah. And they keep that between them and that housewife. Um, and so I don't know. I don't know. But I never sat down with Lisa Shannon ever and said, I'm reality Von Teese. So right. for her to sit there and be like, I had no idea, that is true. She did not. So I don't know. And because we all know, like, producers know things and then they, you know, try to get it to come out. Yeah, yeah. I just wonder, did somebody know other than Heather on production and, like, try to get this to come out? Which I kind of feel like... Like, I'm just so curious. That's where my mind yeah. goes. I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel like whether production knew or not, this was going to come out regardless If they knew, it was coming out. If they didn't, it was coming out. This was out of production's hands either way. Heather wanted me gone. And that's what happened. Why, why Heather the most? Like, why, why did she want, you know, other than we talked about, you know, higher quality and blah, blah, blah. But like, why? Like, strip away all of that. Like, why? Why why doesn't Heather Gay like you other than Other than me suing her company? (laughs) <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> and which, by the way, is a countersuit. I would have never sued her. We got back from Bermuda, and within like two, three weeks, um, I was served at my home. She um, served me after Bermuda, conveniently, for a procedure from four to five years ago. Um, but I countersued that. But I don't know why she hates me so much. I don't know. I don't know if she's afraid of what Jen has told me about her, so she doesn't want me around. Um, I don't know why Lisa doesn't like me so much either, to be completely honest. I don't know where her deal is either. I mean, I could probably think of things, but I would never say them. Maybe they're afraid I would say them. You don't want to say any of them? Nope. You sure? Nope. <laughs> what What would Jen Shaw say about all this? I mean, she's in jail, I prison. I think she... About you being on the show. I mean, she obviously knows about all of this. I mean, I think we all know. She'd be pissed as hell. She's not happy. I wouldn't be happy either. That's why I said, out of everyone, she deserves to be pissed at me. Do you know what I mean? So she's not going to be happy I'm on the show. She's not going to be happy. I mean, Heather Gay literally sat on reunion stage and said, you know, when Andy said, if you could tell Jen anything right now, what would you say? And she was like, I'm not your bitch anymore. And then she goes on Watch What Happens Live and's like, I hope Jen's happy. We got Monica off. It's like, girl, are you her bitch anymore or are you not? You know? So uh, 